What's up, AJ back here at E3 2011. Todd Batty, Creative Director, SSX. Now we're gonna check out Trick It, uh, part of uh, the new SSX game, and you guys are uh, we're looking at the Himalayas now. Yeah, so for the Trick It drop, um, we are going to, uh, uh, we're gonna go to a, a place in the lower altitude of the Himalayas, um, and for, you know, Trick It, this, this level's gonna look probably the most familiar to SSX fans. This is a place where we start uh, introducing some of the thematic elements and the sort of man-made objects on the mountain that uh, really help to sort of define a region. Um, so we're gonna dive in here and take a look at uh, some sort of remnants of the Great Wall of China. Again, we're taking, you know, some pretty big creative liberties. We, the, the, the topography that we have sourced is authentic and true, but the thematic elements and how we lay and how we shape the terrain around there is uh, entirely driven by our artists and, and designers. So you're telling me they won't allow me to uh, run down the Great Wall of China on my snowboard? Probably not. <laughs> I'm very disappointed now. But at least you can do it in this game. <laughs> Absolutely. So, you know, the whole idea with Tricks uh, is, uh, again, for anybody who's familiar with SSX, they're going to uh, immediately grasp and understand uh, this system. Uh, the idea is you do as many tricks as you can, and you build up a, a boost meter at the bottom of the screen. You, you know, for obvious reasons, might want to use that uh, boost meter to get to where you want to go to or get a little bit extra air time off your jump. But if you bank it all, build up your boost meter, you go into something we call uh, sort of tricky mode or tricky, a tricky state. Um, and that's where then all of the same tricks that you were doing off of all your previous inputs get uh, exaggerated even further where you can do things like, you know, pop one foot off the board and uh, do a one foot shove it. Uh, if I get enough speed off this next one here. Oh, wow. You can see that I can actually <laughs> pop both my feet uh, out of the board and uh, spin the board around and that's actually a trick that's uh, completely inspired and, and brought to us from uh, past versions of SSX. Uh, so, you know, the other thing with uh, uh, um, our, uh, that really comes out in our trick uh, events is we spend a lot of time in building a, a, a very advanced core physics engine that, um, you know, in early days we sort of came up with the tagline of we should be able to ride anything. And the challenge with that is uh, lots of games say that and then they spend a great deal of effort in, in trying to sort of make that a reality. We actually achieved that. We, we, we created a physics engine that literally lets the player go anywhere and ride off anything, anywhere in any environment, which means it is truly an open world. You can go anywhere. There are no out-of-bound signs. There are no uh, fences. There are no objects that, that, you know, sort of keep penning you back in again. Uh, every square inch of the environment is rideable, and as you can see from some of the tricks that we're doing, um, you can do fantastic tricks just by riding off of the you know, really interesting shapes and whatnot. Uh, so one last thing we want to talk about with tricks because there's been a lot of you know questions around sort of what are our control schemes and uh, we haven't finalized exactly what the controls are again we're sort of mid-production we're still working on a lot of gameplay elements but uh, what we've done and I, I think it's a really cool sort of nod to the past and a you know sort of a, a nod to the future if you will is uh, we give the gamer two ways to play the game. Uh, you can use the right analog stick as sort of a trick stick, uh, use a lot of sort of gestures and swoops. It's actually a really intuitive, very responsive system. Uh, it all correlates with what the player is doing on the screen. But then we actually map that exact same system and you can have all of the depth and all of that by actually using the buttons as well. So uh, it's not a matter of picking your controller preference and going into a menu and, and saying, oh, I want to use button controls or stick controls. It's actually live at any given point in time. I actually find uh, that I prefer doing some things on buttons and some on six, so I actually spend time going back and forth between the two, but uh, it's a really nice thing and the, the button controls are very inspired by uh, sort of a, the old SSX control scheme. Um, we're still toying with the idea of actually recreating the exact old SSX uh, control scheme and putting that in the product. We do a lot more in our game now than what uh, you know you could do in the past in SSX, so it's a little bit challenging to try to figure out how to map it uh, onto uh, that control scheme. But regardless, there's going to be a lot of different ways to play the game, uh, all entirely based on what kind of gamer and what type of you know how you prefer to play your game. All right, thanks, Todd. I think it's an understatement to say that uh, SSX is all about variety with both the control schemes and the gameplay. Uh, when we come back, it'll be all about surviving it. The third part of this uh, gameplay feature you guys are showing off at E3. Make sure to stay tuned at facebook.com slash EA Sports.